In the last lecture, we created an index on age field which stores a number value. In the same way, we can also create index on string values like country, city, gender, etc. Using a Boolean field for index is also possible, but it does not make much sense because a Boolean field has only two values, true or false. So when we query a collection using a Boolean field, it might return us majority of the documents. And as we saw in the last lecture, if a query on a field returns majority of the documents, then indexes should not be created on that field. Otherwise, instead of improving the efficiency of the query, it makes it less efficient. Same is true if we use index on a gender field, which also have only two values, male and female. Here also, creating an index on a gender field will not improve the efficiency because when we query only using gender field, it will return us majority of the documents from the collection. And since we have index on gender field, the index scan will be used by MongoDB and fetching documents will involve two step, going to index and then fetching the documents from the collection. All right, so we have seen how we can create an index on a single field, but it is also possible to define an index on two or more fields. So there will be only one index, but it will be created on multiple fields. And this is called as compound index. Let's understand it with an example. So currently, if I use this get indexes method on this users collection, you can see that currently we have only one index on this underscore ID field. So basically we have the default index set here. Now what I want is I want to create a new index on this users collection. So for that on the users collection, I can call create index method. And here the I should be in caps. Okay. Now on which field do I want to create an index? Let's say I want to create an index on age field in ascending order. And then I also want to add the gender field and this should be also in ascending order. So here I want to create an index, a single index, but this index should be created on both age and gender field. So here we are creating an index on two fields. We are creating a same index on these two fields. And this is called as compound index. When we have index on two or more fields, that is called as compound index. Here I have only specified two fields, but you can have up to 31 fields. Okay, so if I go ahead and if I press enter, you see a new index has been created on both age and gender field. And now if I run this get indexes command, now you will see we have two indexes. The first index is on this underscore ID field which is basically the unique index and the second index is created on age and gender field and the name of that index is age one gender one. Now here the order of the fields in the index does matter. Here first we have a specified age and then the gender. So in the index the pointers which will be created first they will be sorted by age and then they will be sorted by gender. So for example the index will look something like this. So first we have age. So first it is sorted by age. You can see 26, 28, 32, 34, 36 like that. And after that it is also sorted by gender. But if we change the order, if we create an index where we first specify the gender in ascending order and then age in ascending order, then the index will be created something like this. First it will be sorted by gender and then it will be sorted by age, as you can see here. So the order does matter here. So now if I go ahead and if I query the users collection and on that, let me first use this explain method. And after that, let's use find method. And how do I want to find the document? Let's say I want to find all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40 and gender is let's say male okay and here this g should be in uppercase and this a should also be in uppercase and the index which we have created that we have created on fields with lowercase 
So let me actually remove this command from here. Okay, let's create the index one more time. I want to create the index on gender where G should be in uppercase and age where A should be in uppercase. So let me go ahead and let me create this index and let me also drop the index. So here instead of create index, I'm going to use drop index method because I want to drop this index which we have created because we don't have any field called age where A is in lowercase and we don't have any field called gender where G is in lowercase. So I'm going to run this command to drop that index. And now if we run this get indexes, we should have these two index where the index is created on age field and gender field. All right, now let me go ahead and let me call the find method. Before that on this user's collection, I'll use explain. And on that, I'm going to use find method and I want to find all the documents where the age is greater than or equal to 40 and gender, so again she should be in uppercase, is male. And let's also make this M in uppercase. Okay, if I go ahead and if I press enter, as you can see here, the index scan has happened. And which index has been used? This index, where we are creating index using age and gender in ascending order. So this is the index name. So basically, when we are querying the document by specifying age and gender, here the order does not matter. But the order in which we specify these fields when creating the index, that does matter. And I showed you why. But in the find query, when you specify these fields in the filter object there you can put it in any order and since we have age and gender field here we have an index which we have created on age and gender field the name of that index is this so here this index will be used in order to fetch the documents from the collection okay now if i only query based on the age field i don't specify the gender field here so if i remove it in this case also it is going to use the same index here we have only specified the age field we, we have not specified the gender field in this filter object but still since we have the age specified here it is going to use this same index for querying the document from the collection let me actually show you that so if i press enter here you will see that the same query has been used here so here also it is index scan and it has used the same index for querying the documents from the collection when we have specified only the age field. But if I specify only the gender field and not the age field, so here if I go ahead and if I remove this age field from here, in this case, it is not going to use that index, basically this index. Why? Because here in the index, first we have specified the age field. And then we have specified the gender field. So the documents are sorted first by age and then by gender. So when we are going to use only gender field and not age field here, in that case, since we have omitted the first field, which we specified in the index, we are only using the second field, which we have specified in the index. It is not going to use that index. So this is how the compound index works. If I press enter here, you will see that this time the collection scan has happened. It has not used any index. It has done a collection scan. So the very important point to note here is that if you are creating a compound index where you have specified some fields in order, for example, first you have specified age, then you have specified gender, then you have specified country. So when you will filter the documents based on age, gender and country, it will use that index. If you filter it using only age and gender, then also it will use the index. And if you use only age field, then also it will use the index. But if you use only gender and country field, since the order will not match because the first field is not present, MongoDB will not use that particular index. So for a compound index, if the fields are specified from left to right, where you can also omit the fields in the right, 
it will use the index otherwise it will not use the index so as i said in this example when we have created an index on age and gender field in the index when we were creating the index we specified the age field first and then the gender field so when we try to query a document by specifying age and gender it is going to use the index when we specify age it is going to use the index but if we specify only gender we have omitted the field in the left here the field in the left was age in that case mongodb will not use the index and if you change the order for example if you use the gender first and then you use the age for example age should be greater than or equal to 40 if i go ahead and if i press enter in this case you will see that the index has been used for querying the document so here you can see it is index scan so the order in the find query the order in which you specify the fields in the find query that does not matter but which fields you are including and excluding that does matter here in this query we have included the age field and the index which we have created we have created it on first age and then gender so that's why this query is working but if i include only gender field that means we are omitting the age field and the index is created by first using age and then the gender so in that case it will not use the index in that case it will do the collection scan i hope you got the point so in this way we can also create compound indexes by specifying multiple fields for a index and when we create compound indexes the order in which we specify the fields that does matter all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day